Hey, what is up guys? So today I'm gonna show you the world's easiest way to make a smoke bomb. So as you can see, all you need for this project is some aluminum foil and some ping pong balls. I'm just going to show this to you guys in one take because it's just that easy to make. All you got to do, right, is just grab your aluminum foil, rip off a piece, cut it down to size, just a square like this is fine. Now grab a ping pong ball and a marker. Place the marker on top of the ping pong ball, put the ball in the foil like this, and just wrap up the foil around it all. And then squeeze around the top like this. Pull out the marker, and there you go, our smoke bomb is done. Oh yeah, and if you really want to take this to the next level, you can grab two ping pong balls and just cut them in half like this. And then all we have to do is just put them together in a ball-like formation, just like that, and do the same thing we did in the other method. And yeah, now we have a smoke bomb that's twice as big as the first. And you can imagine how big you can get this. You could even do three ping pong balls, four ping pong balls, five ping pong balls. 20 ping pong balls, 21, but anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, the more you use, the more the smoke. All right, guys, let's go light these off. All right, guys, so to light these things, trust me, they're super fun to do. All you gotta do is just hold a match or a lighter right underneath them until they start smoking like this. So why does this work? So it actually turns out the reason why is uh, ping pong balls are actually made of celluloid, um, which is basically like gun cotton, uh, which is made of nitrocellulose. It just burns really fast and bright, and basically ping pong balls are made of almost the same stuff. Why are they made of the same stuff? I have no idea, but it really helped me out when I was 12 years old and wasn't allowed to buy anything else. So I just run down to the general store, grab some ping pong balls and aluminum foil and make some smoke bombs. And that's kind of why I made this video, guys. Kind of just a trip down memory lane and just something that I thought would be cool to share with you guys. Well, guys, there you have it. The simplest possible way to make smoke bombs, or at least in my opinion. Um, let me just tell you guys, the smoke that comes out of this, it's really nasty. Like, if you get it in your eyes at all, it'll burn. Um, smells kind of sweet, though. Not gonna lie. I don't know if I should know that or if that's good. <clears throat> anyway, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't worry, guys. I'll be back with some more, like bigger projects and inventions. Um, subscribe if you haven't, if, uh, if you want to see some cool new videos. And uh, that's all I've got for today, so I will catch you in the next video.